See these two? They will not lower their, their tails. Fireball's the alpha in my home. Power's the alpha out in the town. Didn't think he had it in him, but he definitely showing it off today. 305 lowered his tail in front of two alphas. He doesn't want any issues. So now we're about to go into a, a peeing contest. So everywhere a fireball pees, yeah, power's about to sniff and pee right on top of it. There you go. And so this, this is gonna happen, right? Look at their tails, they're not backing down, especially Fireball, he's like, he's the oldest one, you know? Power is just, he ain't gonna lower his tail, but he's being a little bit, a little bit more calm, a little bit more chill. Fireball, his tongue ain't out, he's not smiling, he just licked. Usually licking means a sign of submission, but I think it was just a coincidence because his tail and nothing else is going down. Hey, chill out. Fireball, chill out. There you go. That's how you prevent a fight. Okay? That's how you prevent a fight. I mean, I know the limits of my dogs. Some dogs, you don't even let them get to that point. You better know the limits of your dogs. So, it's been a while since I've had all three loose. Loose at the same time, that's because I have females in heat. Hey, settle down. See, I just look, I look at mostly at Fireball's body, how he stiffens up and the stiffer he gets, the more volatile the situation can become. Uh, Power, on the other hand, he's he's over here. He loves to to get into the leaves because it's nice and cool. Um, so these two are kind of testing each other out. This cat over here, he's the young man on the block. I know for a fact that when his time comes and he's mature enough, he's going to take over. He's going to be the alpha. I can assure you that. But right now he's not. He doesn't have the mental aptitude to just take over. And based on what I know, not saying that the alpha cannot be friendly. Oh, fireball going about to poop here. Not saying the uh, the alpha cannot be friendly, but normally the friendly alpha loses his alpha position uh, because you got to understand it's always under scrutiny and is always under competition. So it's, I notice that the unfriendly alpha or the alpha that just doesn't play around, that's usually the one that keeps it the longest. So. There we go, power. Yeah. Now, I can tell you right now, you never, ever, under any circumstance, I don't care if they're alpha or not. Hey. Hey. Settle down. I don't care if they're alpha or not. You never put a female in heat between two males. That beta will, will become real brave, even though he's not an alpha. And you're pretty much prepping up for a fight. All right? So these two, they're just kind of reacquainting themselves. I've had females in heat now for three months in a row. So I separate all my males when females are in heat. Not two. Otherwise, you're just gonna have fights, man. Learned that the hard way when I started out as a breeder. Look at this boy. 305. See, he, he wants none of that. Mentally, you know, physically he's he's getting there. But mentally, he, he just... Ah! See, Power's trying to submit Fireball over here. I cannot allow that to happen. If he, try, if he submits him and I allow it, there's gonna be a fight. And that's completely 100% my fault. So you gotta know the limits of your dog. Okay, okay, Bubba. That's just to get your attention, get his attention too. So that's how I run my pack, fam. Like I said, I'm no trainer. I know the limits of my dogs. I know what they're capable of. I know based on their body language, you know, how far they can go. 305, where are you going? 
See, 305 wants wants nothing wants nothing to do with the tension in the air. See? He wants nothing to do with the tension in the air, and that's mostly a, a maturity thing on his behalf. He, he's still a couple of days from turning one. You know, power over here, believe it or not, power is, uh, he's two, two years and three months, two years and four months. Uh, fireball over here, he's, he's four. So he's mentally, you know, very capable. Plus, I've, I've seen him in action, so I definitely know his limits. You see, Power got no issues with 305. 305 running around with his tail down. So Power's cool with that. See? But at no point did Fireball lower his tail, nor submit to this guy. And had uh, I allowed Power to go ahead and mount him, we probably would have been looking at a fight. So, yeah, 305's all the way over there. He wants nothing, nothing to do with it. Tension. If, if it ever eases, if either one of these two lowers their tails, then he's gonna come. All right, he doesn't wanna be between the two. See, that's, that's what happens when you have two alphas out at the same time. Now, can a female be alpha? Absolutely. I can tell you right now, in my yard, Latessa runs the show. Now, Power, Power's the male alpha of the yard, obviously. He's the oldest. And ever since 305 showed up, you know, he's been... Pe ...seen everywhere 305 pees and walks in front of his cage with his tail nice high like that. Letting him know, hey, bro, I run the show. And because 305 has submitted, as you can see, look. Look at 305 submitting. Look at his tail. Because 305 is submitting, you know, power's cool. Power doesn't have to test anything. He already won. All right? But Fireball, look. Check him out. He'll probably go over there and pee on that tree. There he goes. See? He's going to challenge you. You're not, you're not going to fake this dude out. He's small, but... He knows, he knows his place, and he's not about to just give it up. 